Yeah, but let's see what the numbers say, and then we'll just take it from there. Well, well if you get them over in an ounce an hour, I'd be a happy camper. Everybody ready? The cut must produce at least 20 ounces to be worth running. Nine? Hold on, hold on. 9.92. Worth $17,000. Way less than Tony hoped for. The old timers left that cut for a reason. We cannot afford to run any dirt with no gold in it. Tony's fallen at the first hurdle. Unless he finds new gold-rich ground, he could be facing another failed season. Well, some other places want to have a piquet, do some drilling, see what we can find. There's got to be something around. If you don't take a chance, you'll never win. We got about six weeks or so left in the season. Screen deck is dead. We ran out of the old timer tailings. Mike is the only plan going right now. The end of the season is in sight, but Klondike legend Tony Beats is still 400 ounces short of his goal. I would really like to hit 3,000 ounces this year. Hopefully, we don't have any ups and we should be able to reach that goal. And he's running out of pay dirt in the 18 acre mega cut. We're getting close to finishing up that mega cut, but I would sure like to finish that one off before winter hits. We gotta get it with last. has taken one scoop too many, punching a hole in the wall between the cut and a two million gallon tailings pond. But I guess that's what happens when you try to be a little bit greedy, just to get the last two buckets full. Now you're gonna get off. Holy That ain't gonna stop for a while. I would guess that is just about the end of the season. So if we're done in the mega cut, where are we gonna get paid for the rest of the season? I don't know. Unless Tony can find new ground, his season will be dead in the water. If that rumble don't turn, we get no gold, so there you go. So right now, pioneering around. Do not know if we're gonna be successful with that yes or no. With just weeks left of the season, Tony's flooded the last corner of the mega cut, his only source of gold. If he can't find new ground fast, his season is over. I think we're gonna go in there. I think we're gonna call it the upper cut. We're gonna have to get Mike up there with the dozers and everything so we can get up on the top. Tony's banking on an area of virgin ground between the mega cut and an old cut he knows had good gold. Tear the shit out of that, OK? OK. It's all up to you, Mike, because we can't have that trommel stop. Yep. The trommel stops, we get no gold. We won't reach the gold. Your mother won't be happy, so let's get the with the program. And when the, uh, the idea is to clear off a whole section down to the cave. It's a pain in the ass to deal with. When it rains, it's almost impossible to deal with. And unfortunately, it rained just before we're going to be dealing with it. Here it's a soupy mess. It's like a skate rink. It's hard to turn the tire that just slides. Oh! That sucks. Kevin, you got a copy? Found a sinkhole here. I'll come by with the channel pull you out. Copy that. We'll get the cable, hook it up, pull it out. Not a problem. We're good to go. Come on, you stubborn. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, Kevin. That's not good. Well, 
Yeah, that's in two pieces. I've never seen a rock truck pull apart yet. I've seen other brakes, I've seen frame brakes, but I've not seen one pull in two. That's a new one for me. We're gonna go throw the thing out of that so that we can start taking all that pay out. Let's go, let's make this happen. Go, go, go. That's more like it. We got it. Very nice. After three days stripping, Tony's down to pay dirt in the uppercut. Now we'll run some dirt through the plant, and we should be right back on track. But with winter just around the corner, he's in a race against time to hit his season goal. Hopefully we can get our 3,000 ounces. Just shove it through as much as we can. Fingers crossed. Hey, hey. Hey, guys. Ready for the final deal? After five months racing to cash in on record high gold prices, the beats gather for their final gold weigh of the season. Ready to weigh up the trommel now? Pour in the, let's see what we got. To hit their 3,000 ounce gold, they still need 321 ounces. 290, 350, 351.36. That's pretty good. Worth over $660,000. So, Mom, what's our season total? 3,030.26. What? 30, 30 is better than 2020. <laughs> In their shortest season ever, the Beats have mined $5.6 million worth of gold. We reached our goal. Well, look how lucky we got by checking out the multi tailings. I mean, they left about 600 grand laying there on the ground. Looking at what the rest of the world is, I'd say we did very well. Fired up by hitting his target, Tony's already thinking big for next season. For next year, with the opportunities we have in the Indian, if we do get a water license, I don't think we should have any trouble tripling it next year. Wanna have a little side bet here, buddy? For 9,000 ounces, yes, I will. If I win, I get a new truck, red one. If you win, you'll get three SUVs. Done. Let's go out. Let's get started on it. Started? No, 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 we're closing up. 